So what we're going to demonstrate here is the use of the head blocks and the pelvic binder in conjunction uh, with the scoop stretcher. So um, the patient has got a collar on, so we're suspecting a C-spine injury. So Sarah, if you could take C-spine, please. What we're going to do, team, is um, we're going to do a, a log roll. So it's going to be a 15 degree tilt. And at the same time, we're going to put the pelvic binder under and uh, we're going to put the scoop under. So if you could take yourself around there, please, guys. Um, if we could go for the three under, three over method, please. That's going to be on Sarah's command. We're going to do it on ready, set, move. When I say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the pelvic binder, so um, the black side up, and I'm going to point it so it's into a, a triangle pointing down towards the feet. The pelvic binder is in place over the greater trochanter, and Sarah's in place. And when you're ready, Sarah, we're going to do a 15 degree long roll on ready, set, move. And I'm going to slide the, the scoop under. So on your command, please. Ready, set, roll. Okay, that's enough. Stay where you are. Okay, pelvic bind is in place. And we're going to go back on your command again, please, sir. Ready, set, roll. That's great, great stuff. If we could maintain your position at the head, please, and we'll swap rounds. Okay, same position again, please, guys. On your command again, Sarah. Everyone hands on. Mm -hmm. Ready, set, roll. Okay, I'm going to take the pelvic binder out from this side first, just to start with, and then I'm going to click the scoop in at the top first, followed by clicking the scoop in at the bottom. Okay, in position we are with the dap, so we'll go back on your command, please, Sarah. Ready, set, roll. Okay, you stay on C spine. If everybody else can move away, himself and John will get the pelvic swing in position. So what you can do is you can cut these, or you can um, just fold it over like that. I'm gonna bring it over to there, ideally making sure there's nothing in the pockets, and obviously we would be skin to scoop in a real life situation. So we're gonna hold that there. We take these um, Velcros, and we're gonna get them as low as we can. Just hold that, please, Dave. We're gonna get them as low as we can underneath here. Um, for that, um, when the Velcro is on, we then take on the uh, Velcro, I'll give that to you, John. Okay, and we're gonna bring it together and go down as far as we possibly can to secure the pelvis. Okay, so now we need to concentrate on um, C-spine. So we have a new head locks. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take on C-spine on the chin at the top of the head to allow Sarah to free up. So I'm on. I'm off. Okay, we just pop this. The blocks, so we get them sized up, they fit all sizes of adult and paediatric, and what we're gonna do is just slide it gently, maintain a C-spine position underneath the head. And we go down as far as we can toward the shoulders, that's lovely. Okay, so we're gonna go from there. If you have control. Control. You're on, I'm off. Okay, and what we then have is, we will go for the, the chin strap first. Um, we're gonna take these, um, the sticky off the back and I'll fucking work with you Bruce and what we're going to do is we're going to put the chin strap on and it's going to go across there underneath the chin and get up and onto the scoop there that's brilliant followed by the head strap again the only difference with the head strap on the on the, the head strap compared to um, the chin strap is we take that off and from there and the head strap goes across the top and this bit here is not sticky so it doesn't affect the patient's head and it goes to the bottom here and we go down Bruce that's fine just hold it into position and there so think that is the head secure and then we would go straps straps top middle and bottom okay uh, simultaneous working thank you very much